y'all, I have parted my hair from ear to ear. So now I'm just parting my hair into three subsections. And I am clipping the two sections on the side so that they won't get in the way. I'm gonna use the ISO Plus foam wrap lotion. And I am going to pump about two to three pumps on that section. And I'm gonna detangle that section very, very well. I'm making sure that my roots are as smooth as possible. So now I'm gonna take some rubber bands and don't kill me. The way you take them off is really what determines whether or not they will damage your hair. And you will see how I take them off later. So I'm gonna put one rubber band around this section, making sure to straighten the roots as smooth as possible. And now I'm going to continue the same method throughout the other two sections on the front of my head. And I don't know if you noticed, but the way I put it in the ponytail is I kind of pull it closer to my face so that my edges can be smooth as well. And those are the three sections. So I did, I completed my whole head into the subsections just as I showed you for the front. So now I'm going to take each subsection and part the ponytail into two pieces evenly. I'm spraying water and putting a little more isoplus on it. And then I'm going to detangle that section and I'm going to make that section as smooth as possible. And now I'm going to take a roller and roll it up, making sure that I pull taut so that the hair can be straight. I'm taking a clip and I'm going to clip the roller into place. And there you have your first roller. So I'm going to do the same thing for the next piece of that same section. But the only difference is I will be rolling the hair toward my face instead of back. So pretty much for each section, you will be rolling the hair in an opposite direction than you rolled the first section. So now I'm taking a clip and I'm actually gonna clip the top of that. And this just ensures that that hair doesn't uh, curl up or anything like that. It just ensures that it stays as stretched as possible. I noticed that for some sections, I had to use a clip on top and some sections I didn't. So it pretty much is your personal preference or you know, however it turns out for you. So now I'm just going to continue doing the same process all over my head in each section and I will be back once I am finished.
the finished look of my roller placement. Now it is the next day. I went to sleep with the rollers in my hair and I did not sit under the dryer. So now I'm just taking this first roller out and I am actually loving the results. My hair is really stretched and really smooth. So I'm gonna complete uh, taking out the rollers and of course I will be back to take out the rubber bands next. Now I'm taking some scissors and this is how you take out rubber bands from your hair if you want to eliminate any damage that can be done. So I am pulling just one piece of the rubber band and I am opening my scissors and pretty much sliding my scissors on that piece instead of closing the scissors down. This will ensure that you don't cut your hair. Now I'm just pulling that rubber band off that I just cut and as you can see it is cut and my hair is still intact. And so I'm going to do that for the rest of my head. All the rubber bands have been taken out and I have my hands oiled with a little argan oil and I'm just distributing that through my hair um, pretty much just playing with my curls I'm not concerned about frizz because as you know if I'm going for big hair frizz doesn't really concern me so I am just pretty much finger detangling pull my pulling my curls apart now I'm going to take a rake comb and I'm going to use the end of that comb to fluff my hair out and fluff the roots out and kind of make sure that the parts are hidden and you know pretty much just play with my hair so that I can get it the way that I want it to look. Of course I had, you, had to give you that little slow-mo shake. of course to do a left side part so I'm just taking my comb and parting that and I'm going to place that piece behind my ear and this is pretty much the finished look all I did for my edges was put um, a little edge control and gel on them and of course tied it down let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes took that off and my edges were pretty laid. <laughs> um, so that is it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can see more content from me. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in my next video.